friends, it's Chelsea. Welcome to my channel. So happy you're here. Now in this video, I want you to answer a question about anxiety. Now, how to cure anxiety, how to overcome it, how to become free from all of the anxiety symptoms. Now, if you're sensitive, if you are highly kind of intuitive person, anxiety is a very common problem and let me tell you i have done my own i've been on my own journey with anxiety from really early age so i wanted to share with you the story of my life and how i went through this period of my life of intense anxiety and now i'm free from it i can tell you this put my hand on my heart i'm stress free i am anxiety free yes sometimes i have ups and downs but in general i can tell you that i am much happier calmer more peaceful person than ever so, you know, many years ago, I was in a nursing school. It was my first year of nursing school. A lot of work, a lot of subjects. I started to have the anxiety attacks, literally panic attacks during test times. I would write a test and such an intense feeling would come, overwhelming. I would hyperventilate, my palms would be like sweaty and I would be so dizzy. I will have to just get some fresh air. Those feelings were new to me. I've never ever experienced anything like that before. So every time I would sit down to write the test, these symptoms would show up and I didn't know what, what's going on with me, what's, what's the matter with me, what's wrong with me. In my second year of nursing school, those panic attacks, the anxiety grew so strong that I could no longer just live normal life. I thought I would have to quit this school business altogether and I would just have to, to do something else. I, I couldn't. I didn't know the way out, so I just walked into a clinic right there at the college. They had uh, like a clinic for students and I walked in, I sat down and like, help me. I think I'm dying. It's, it's so bad. I don't feel like myself anymore. I, I can't function. My thoughts are just running through my head. I, I, I'm not myself. Please help me. What do I need to do? So naturally, I was prescribed a whole list of things from supplements to prescription medications just to control my anxiety. And I felt really funky about it. I did not want to touch any medications. I did not want to go down that route because then I will be dependent. That, that was my thinking at the time. So the first time around, I did not want to take any medications. I thought, let me just take care of myself a little bit more. I'll sleep more, then I'll, I'll take care of it. But the anxiety still persisted. So eventually I went back to see the same doctor and I actually asked for the prescription. I wanted to control my anxiety so I could finish school, so I can just get it over with. I was ready to do anything. So I started taking medications. So there were medications that I would take almost every single day. So I was like a little zoned out person, but it helped my anxiety so much. I really could focus. I was much calmer. My thoughts kind of slowed down. Still, I, I did not feel myself. I did not want to do this long term. I did not want to have my life controlled by my anxiety or by the medications that I was taking. I needed a different plan. I finished school, two years of taking medications now, and I did it. So my next plan was to do whatever I needed to do to cure the anxiety forever so I don't have to take the medications. And that was my plan. What really helped me to get through this really dark period of my life with my health, physical, emotional health, mental health, what really helped me was I had this feeling like I wasn't alone. It was like my angels 
were there by my side and they were supporting me all my life and at those moments when I needed them the most I, I knew they were there I could feel them and I had this voice telling me like Josie don't worry about it you will be fine you will be good just keep on going don't worry about it you will heal yourself you will cure yourself just get on don't don't worry about it so I always had this knowing that there's higher power, there are angels who are looking after me, that I, I don't have to go through these troubles alone. So eventually, when I finished school, I went off medications, cold turkeys, like that's it, I ain't taking that stuff anymore. And I fell down the stairs. I felt so nauseous and dizzy lightheaded so i tripped over stairs and i fell <laughs> and it twisted my shoulder so i was in pain for a few months but then i didn't know that you have to gradually decrease your medications right so you decrease the number and the prescription it will be less and less and eventually you get it off you know all together i didn't know this i wanted to just stop taking it so that was not such a good idea so then i had to go back to the doctor so it took me a few months to get off these medications completely and now i was on a different path we're talking like 15 years from today so my next step the angels were telling me do spiritual work your path to healing is a spiritual path. Look for spiritual teachers, look for meditations, maybe do yoga, do whatever you need to do to get back in balance. So I went and I found a teacher. It happened just magically. I had a wonderful teacher who, um, who taught me how to meditate, who taught me how to put my mind in the right place, to focus on breathing. And I took the entire year just going within, exploring all of this spirituality, getting to know myself, my soul, my spirit self, and eventually, magically, one day at a time. The anxiety was no longer there and I was more in control of my body, my thoughts, my feelings and emotions. And I have come to understand that either your mind is driving your life, you're just producing all that anxiety, right? If you are identifying with your thoughts, with your mind, or you, the spirit you, the observer you, that eternal soul that is not your body, that is just pure awareness and consciousness. When you tap into this and when you see the world, you don't identify with your mind anymore. It's like everything changes and you realize the power of everything that you want, of anything that you can become. It's within you. And that was just life transforming. I never wanted to get off that path. <laughs> and it took me about 10 years to really master, to get in touch with Chosy. Not Chosy, the, the physical Chosy, but the spirit Chosy. The Chosy who is never ending joy and bliss. What I can suggest to you from my own experience is going within. That's the most powerful cure that you can ever find. And looking out for cure, for healers, it's all wonderful. We all need that. Physicians, you know, alternative medicine, that's all wonderful. But the most powerful healer is within you when you stop identifying with your thoughts and it's almost like you become the observer of your thoughts i see you you know i i see these thoughts running in my mind i don't grab onto them i don't judge them if i have a thought of anxiety if i don't sort of process it if i don't allow this thought to dissolve into my consciousness i don't energize it i don't provide this thought 
a momentum to grow and to become this monstrous energy consuming emotion producing monster so when I just see this thought and I know if I just give it a little bit of judgment if I give this thought a little bit more of my energy it will start to grow and then it will consume me so I have learned to identify all of these kinds of thoughts and I just let them pass I don't give them energy and you know they disappear they go away they go away so become an observer every time you have an anxious thought just separate yourself observe your body in this moment what's going on Maybe your heartbeat increases. Maybe you'll have a little bit faster breathing. You know, your skin gets a little kind of sensitive. Observe your body is like, hmm, that's interesting. You know, it's, it's really an interesting response that I have right now. And being completely neutral of emotions completely neutral of reactions I know you can do it I know it doesn't mean that you're just trying to be in denial but when you master your feelings and emotions these thoughts of anxiety they won't stick with you they will just go away and then we come back but they will meet with the same attitude right with the same kind of passive, non-judgmental attitude. So my friends, if you're struggling with anxiety, going within is the best cure that you can provide for yourself. It's really spending more time in silence, going in the place within you where there's no thoughts. There are no thoughts. The place between words, if you have a thought, I am, the space between I and am is that place of silence and healing and emptiness. If you can spend more time in that gap, all of your thoughts will be kept at the distance. And with practice, with regular time, you can always access this place of pure bliss because your soul nature is pure bliss your soul nature who you are really not who you are identifying yourself with your soul nature your true self my friends that's pure bliss and peace there's no anxiety in your soul there's anxiety in the world in your perception of the world, in your needs to interact with other people, in your circumstances produces fear, worry, and anxiety, but there is no stress, no worries in your soul, in your true soul nature. So tapping into this place, healing yourself, from within, looking at the world through the eyes of the bliss and peace, a peaceful soul. Any energy that comes through, any thought that comes through will not be judged, will be observed. And if the thought is of value, it will bring you more peace. If the thought is more of the anxiety producing energy, you will send it away. You will not identify this. This is a spiritual path. And this is the path that we all want. We're essentially looking for ourselves in this world. When you find yourself and you know who self is, there is no need to worry. There is no need to stress out. Just to live just to be, just to experience this life, this beautiful life as it is. All right, my friends, here you go. Some thoughts on how to cure anxiety, how to be forever free from all anxiety symptoms. I hope this video helped you. If you want to share your stories, as always, put them all in the comment section below.
and I am sending you healing light, healing love from my heart. Be well. I'll chat with you in the next video. Bye-bye.